guys and um, welcome back to UD UK. Um, this is actually the second time we've been back here in the space <laughs> of a week or two now because the first time we came um, we did a nice little video of Oakhurst House and when we got home I thought it'd be a great idea if I deleted all the footage. Lost the files. All of them. All of them. Gone. Tried to recover them multiple times, couldn't do that. So, I'm so happy to be back to this house. Yes. I feel like a bloody live here at the minute. Yeah, so we're doing it again, basically. Yeah, um, just to surprise us if it's the first time. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna have a little walk around. Um, completely forgot what I was gonna say. So what you say with a pinch of salt? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Buff me all smell out now. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little walk around the house now. There is some history um, that comes with the house, and there's, there's tales of in the woods there being a tree, um, which was Betty Kenny's tree, and she. Um, essentially lived in a shack that was attached to the tree and um, that's where the rockabye baby nursery rhyme actually comes from because she um, would, would sit in one of the hollow branches in the tree and literally rock her babies to sleep um, and they worked for the family who owned this house um, so we're going to take a walk around now and then we will let you know what we find Skimbo is looking at it. it's not following look oh, that's why what idiots Alright, let's jump in. Crack on. Okay, so this, I don't know, it's sort of like a main living room or something, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, look at all the beams. Would have been so big. You can see where all the roots have obviously fell through and completely gone. So basically, this house has a lot of history, and I will probably struggle to remember a lot of it. But um, essentially, there was a family um, who had this house built for his three daughters many years ago to free up space in the main mansion house. And the daughters actually declined um, the house; they didn't want it. So I'd have, have definitely accepted it. I'd have accepted it for sure. But then the house was um, was then sold to a f a someone who used to forge iron, I think it was, and then sold again to somebody who made um, like, who was like working in wire works. Yes. And just down there, there's those broken factories, like abandoned factories associated with that. So the only thing, well, the good thing about this place is that no one actually, without sounding bad, no one actually cares about it. So you can't really get caught here or there's no security or or anything like that no so it's a pretty chilled out explorer isn't it really tyler yeah so i think it's um if you do obviously take a fancy to this kind of exploring stuff it's a good place to go for your start definitely you don't have to worry about anyone really you know being too overly concerned about you being inside there's not really anything to be concerned about anyway it's that broken and worn down no you just gotta be careful obviously in case it starts falling down <laughs> even more I think I'm going to try and find where the basement is as well. It basically looks like the Hiroshima bomb's gone off in here. Yeah. 100%. I'll just turn it around let you guys have a little look. So I'm going to run out of stuff to say. It's mad though. Obviously we've got the basement to try and find as well. Right there lad. <laughs> we're there. I feel like we've not been through this way. Just feel different. Don't really know how much longer 
it will be here. Yeah, it's definitely not coming out. Bastard. A bit slippy today, isn't it? Yeah. Tyler, did we go over there last time? Through there? Well, make our own floors. There's no floors, but we can try and get up. Yeah, can do. Or if you want to go. Wanna, do you want to take that and I'll have a little test? Yeah. Kill myself first. Uh, I think I might give that a <laughs> You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> um, There's no floors. And, uh, it's a tiny bit. But <laughs> it's a tiny bit of floors. I think I might give it a miss. <laughs> yeah, we'll go down to the basement. It's wood here, it's so slippery. Try and make our way through to other rooms in this house. Uh, considering we actually come, we've actually been here before with seem to have not actually explored all of it. No, there there's is a, a lot. Yeah, there's a good few more rooms around there. The, the dream is if there was an up, up, there was obviously an upstairs, and if it was safe enough to go up, we'd probably do it, but it's they basically everything just fell through, so not worth the risk. We, was, we were saying that the, uh, we'd go down, we'd see someone in the corner of the room scratching and <laughs> that sort of thing, so that could come true today. It is quite peaceful here though, to be fair. Mm, it is, it's nice. Just have a look around these bits. So this is considerably darker than it was last time. It is, isn't it? Okay. Well. There's so many different rooms. I think nature's kind of had its way. It's been like it? this for a long time, I think, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. No. It's not like the electrics, is it? This would have been like... They're all like really old switches and stuff. Yeah. Do you think it works? <laughs> uh. Oh, right, that's the basement then. Yeah. Don't know about going down there. Do you want me to go down then? I, I don't want you to do anything. All right, so I've decided to uh, go in into the basement, and um, the basement looks pretty grim, to be fair. But we've always kind of wanted to go into the basement. All right, so I'm going to go into the basement. Oh, mate, that floor is so weak. Well, that one there. The, yeah. Yeah, the one you're on is. This isn't. Okay. I'm just going to uh, ease myself in. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go in there. Because I don't want it this well. Yeah, I don't really want to be on top of you either. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the basement. Which I don't think an awful lot of people have come down here. I'm very wary about being down here. Because not only is it... Fucking creepy. But as you can tell, it's probably... Uh, not the safest either. No, I realise the wind is still. Okay, don't move around too much while I'm up here. What's that? Don't move around too much. Yeah, the window still sound. Yeah, I thought things would get off the way. Wow, this is murky. <laughs> Can you see my breath? This is massive. Oh, it's actually pounding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't go all the way down there. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. That is enough. What? It's just like, it's super cool, but like, really? there's just tunnels that go all under the house. The arched, like concrete arched tunnels. Wow. And it sort of, I'm literally nervous because I'm more nervous about the whole place falling in. Well, I mean, yeah. I don't think it would. Oh, mate, it's it's good down there though. Is it? Like you like it? The boy lives. It just keeps going and going. Is I don't it know really? where it goes to. There's a, there's loads of metal like things against the wall, like uh, cages. 
but flat folded all against one of the corridors. I only went to the door entrance to where those tunnels start. Yeah, on the ground. So these must be like some outhouses. You've got like an old stove of some kind. What do you reckon that is? Like a bread oven or something? Like an auger. Like an auger or something? It's old as though, and then the roof is completely gone. Almost Following a trend with this place. Yeah. There's another fireplace up there. You can't really see it. Yeah. Floors just feel like. But like how you said earlier, you know, like spongy. Yeah. I don't know that. Small. The doors? Mm. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah, actually, probably not. With that much crap there, it's built up. Yeah. Looks like there's one old brick up there. Which way did we come up? Did we go for that one straight in front of you? To oh, your left? Yeah. I think either way it leads out, to be honest. Yeah. Easy, lad. Jesus! <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit of an odd explore just because you don't have to be careful. It's like we said earlier, there's like no one about. Yeah. Or if they are, it doesn't matter. Yeah, got the side there, it's massive, absolutely huge. It's just a shame it is the way it is. So we're on, um, we've just left the house now. Um, we're gonna go and try and find Betty Kenny's tree, the one where the, the lullaby song was uh, originated from. So yep. they said it's somewhere in the woods. It's a tree in the woods, so it's gonna be like on a needle in the haystack, so. There is a lot of land around here, but like if it was connected to the house, you'd assume <laughs> kind of like it would be not too far away. So yeah, we'll have a good look. And then... there, there is, um, sorry, there oh, is uh, word saying that it's been vandalized. So let's hope it's not. Yeah, apparently, like a lot of kids um, literally set fire to it years ago. So mm -hmm. it might be difficult. It might not even be there, but we could try our best to find it for Keep you guys. An eye and out. yeah, we'll let you know what we find. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Right. So after about 20 minutes of looking for a tree in a fucking forest, forest, forest trees. <laughs> yeah, we've not found the tree. Uh, we did have a look on the internet to see if it was still here. The only thing that we're finding is people have vandalized it, set it on fire. Um, so I was actually looking for a burnt tree, if we're honest. Yeah, and like, obviously this place is that big, um, and, and if it was burnt that long ago, um, as people are saying online, um, it's probably not much trace of it left anyway. So I think no. we're probably going to give it a miss, aren't we? Yeah, like, we have like to give it tried. So <laughs> we're not uh, we're not having any luck. So yeah, um, we're, we're up the video up here then, I guess. Um, yeah, definitely. Obviously, thanks for watching. Um, if you did like this video, like and subscribe. Yeah. And once again, if you uh, have any other places that you'd like us to go see or visit, uh, leave them in the comments. And Drop us a comment and we'll try and see if we can do it. Yeah, we'll try yeah. and be good. Cool. Cheers. Cheers.